This week on 3D Printed Soup, we've done Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, we've done Ghostbusters, now it's time for my favourite, Star Wars. That's right after this. Hello fun makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup and part 3 of our 3D Printed 80s action figures montage series. And I have got to one of my favourites, Star Wars. Yes, everyone's favourite, about yay high, five points of articulation action figures. They've got necks, shoulders, hips and no toes, no toes, because they have got five points of articulation. So you can move the legs forward and back, you can move the arms up and down and the heads left and right. That makes posing them an absolute nightmare, but they look absolutely great anyway because they're part of my childhood and I love them. I remember my father dragging me along to see Return of the Jedi when I was about four, how he got me into um, that movie when I was about yay high, I have no idea. But I've always been glad that I got to see the last Star Wars movie when it came out in the cinema. And it scared the absolute pants off me. That scene in Jabba's Palace with all the creatures, I was not ready for that. I went straight from watching Transformers and other things like that to suddenly, oh my goodness, this is absolutely mind-blowing. But yeah. Thanks so much for the memories, Dad. That and E.T. scarred me for life. But yeah, so I immediately started collecting the action figures. And although the line is sort of a little bit 70s, because a lot of them were based on black hole figures and other figures like that, and they just sort of changed them up a bit, they look absolutely great and I love them to bits. And they should be fairly easy to 3D print. So I found this fantastic maker right here. Um, he is on 3D Cults. The figures cost just under a five, oh, so five, just under five pounds to buy, but for the handiwork and for the, the lovely um, ease of print, I'm very happy to pay that. I'm not being paid by him, I'm not being sponsored by him, I just found his figures and liked them. Usually I try and do free stuff, but this week I thought I'd make an exception, because the free ones didn't look that good. So, yeah. We're going to 3D print ourselves some wonderful five points of articulation Star Wars action figures to tweak that nostalgia nerve. Before we do that, however, thanks to everyone who's liked and subscribed. We're up to 1,500. My goodness, it took me ages to get to 500, and now it's just rocketing up there. Love you guys. About 95% of you, though, who are watching aren't subscribed. Drag your cursor down, click the subscribe button. It's that easy. You're done. You don't ever have to watch me again. Although, please, please do. My content's really, really improving. But yeah, like, subscribe. Now, let's print ourselves some wonderful Kenner Star Wars beauty. Or Kenner Star Wars style beauty. Am I going to get sued for that? Let's give this a try. Before I started printing the Boba Fett, I decided to try out my printer on the uh, Sabine Wren Kenner style figure, which I uh, downloaded a few months ago to do a video on. And yeah, once I was happy it was printing correctly, I uh, started off with the new Boba Fett print. I moved from my FL Sun printer because uh, every time I printed it out, it just wouldn't adhere. Um, I think it was something to do with the file itself. So I moved on to my Ender 3 S1. And yeah, this uh, stuck down much easier and adhered to the print bed much, much better. I don't think it's a problem with the printer, I just get the feeling the file was a little small and detailed for my Delta. So yeah, once I had correctly printed a uh, nice looking Sabine Wren file, I started printing the proper Boba Fett figure himself. And yeah, he, he's turning out quite nicely and the parts are all adhering. With the print complete, it's now time to assemble and just remove the support materials from this particular print. Watch your fingers because uh, the snippers are sharp and yeah, this uh, actually comes off quite easily. Just pop straight off and I'll give it a bit of a sand in a minute to get rid of any layer lines or stray support material. This particular figure holds together with a uh, peg and socket um, system and you just basically just pop the arms and legs and head on and they should all move correctly. 
Once assembled and given a quick undercoat of grey, I am going to apply the colours to him. And yeah, I'm just using the normal colour, the uh, normal can of colour scheme. Uh, brown for the leather, grey for the undersuit, and uh, yellows and reds for the patches and the flamethrower. And of course, the uh, red T-shape on his face. Oh, and my goodness, this guy is lovely. You little Boba Fett, look at him. He looks so good. Head move, arms move, legs move. He's just absolutely five points of articulation. Beautiful. And yeah, he is absolutely great. You notice I didn't move this, this leg here. That's because I dropped it and it broke off. I'm so sad. But I can just 3D print it again. But yeah, he is brilliant. And if you printed these in ABS, they're going to be tough as hell. I used PLA because I don't like to render my printers that hot for that long. But yeah, this guy is great. He's got the static rocket launcher. This figure, as everyone knows, was meant to have a firing rocket launcher, but then a child choked in the States. Um, I think it was a Battlestar Galactica firing figure and Kenner got cold feet and quite rightly so decided, hey, let's not sell small plastic firing things to children <laughs> under the age of five. And yeah, perfect. Absolutely great. Fits in your pocket and you've got a lovely Star Wars action figure and yeah if you printed this guy in resin um he'd look absolutely perfection but yeah i like using pla different action figures because it's cheap it's easy it's fun and yeah everyone can do it whereas resin not everyone wants to have that smell in the house and yeah you have to have gloves and glasses you have to be careful whereas pla as long as you're careful with the heat and you don't set the place on fire you're pretty much safe and sound and there's no smell so yeah very very happy with him and he's gonna go very very nicely with uh, all my other 3d printed action figures you can also print the guns that go along with him and i've done a series on how to basically spot 3d printed guns and what 3d printed guns look like link right there check it out if you want to see what goes on there and yeah loving the fet loving the action figures now next week we're going to print my absolute favorite action figure of all time here's a little clue for you that's right, it's He-Man. Thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup. Stay happy, stay safe, keep bounty hunting. Perfect.